Okay, in this tutorial for new Blender users, I'm going to show you the power of the normal axis right here. So typically I'm working global, local, and normal axis all the time, switching back and forth. So here's this basic cube. I've subdivided the top surface of it. I'm going to leave edit mode for a second. Let's just review the local axis real quick. So there's no rotation in this cube right now, so I'm going to press RY like that. Here's my axes just pointed Z up, X and Y like that. And if I look at local though now, now it's reflected the position of the optic itself. So here's the local Z pointing in at that direction and local X and local Y. All right. So the next thing we want to look at is the normal axis. This is really useful for editing. So I, I put it there as normal and it's also showing the same direction as the local axis. Well that's because in this particular case what's happening is it's looking at these surfaces and what normal means it's the same as perpendicular and you would know this from for those of you who do um, have studied math so normal means it's a it's a normal vector or a vector that is perpendicular to the surface of this. In fact, that's why when you come over here in edit mode, you can come down here and you look at the normals, right? It's showing you really, what it's showing you is the vector that is normal or perpendicular to the face of the object, all right? So, but now how we're going to take advantage of it is say I want to edit. So first thing I'll do just to keep it simpler, I'm going to control Z back to its orientation like this. I'll still stay in normal axis mode. I'll go in here I'll subdivide this surface here and maybe I want to make some ears or something on this object. In fact I'm going to subdivide it again. Alright, so maybe I want to make this piece go that way and this piece go that way. Well there's you know there's ways to do it editing wise. Let's see for instance I could well there's all kinds of ways generally but I could say I could press EZ right I press Z again so now it's going up along this axis here and then I could just rotate it on Y. I could do RY like that and then I could do easy Z. Did you notice what I did there? Easy Z. I did. Alright, let's do that again. So now I'll go. so in this case it's, I'm still in the middle of that mode. I'm just going to press Z. That Z puts it on the global axis and now Z again puts it on the normal axis. All right, like this down here. So it's facing it. Let's do that again. Let's do RY. Let's put it in global mode just for a second. So let's do RY, RY. We can do it here. And then E, by default, it's going there. Z, anywhere. Z is global, right? So it goes out like this. And then you can just keep working like that. I could just do EZ. I could just do E. But then, if, if I'm in the normal axis like this, then that, that's where it's really great because if you're not, if you're in local mode, you can see my local axis now doesn't really align with this. So if I want to scale this, if I want to scale it along this direction and this direction, well, it's not really going to work because I have to, well, it's because you have to be in the normal axis mode like that. And then I could say there's X and there is Y, so I don't want to scale in Z. So I'm going to press S, Shift, well by default it's doing it, but you could do Shift Z. You see that's not going to do it because that's going to be global. I could do Shift Z again, and there it is there. So then I'm scaling along here like this. Alright, so then let me, let's move that, let's do E there like that. It may have fixed this up even actually so it even allows it. Let's do this. Let's see. let's do S Shift Z. Nope. Shift Z. Nope. Shift Z. Oh, actually you can. You can do third time these days and actually the third time adjust it in the normal axis mode like that as well. But this allows you to see what that normal axis is all about and then it's really useful I use this all the time I'm telling you all the time okay so that's just a tidbit for you new users and I hope that helps you with your modeling and I'll see you in the next lesson